So I'm Todd. I work on a web GIS. It's called C-Sketch. You can see it at csketch.org. What is a web GIS? It's a web application that presents geospatial analyses of varying power. Um, it's often intended for non-experts, and it's uh, sometimes used for public engagement. And frequently it runs on a shoestring budget, so it needs to be simple and fast and compelling to use and cheap to operate. So in my particular web GIS, the architecture looks like this. There's a web application that runs in the web browser. That's your user interface. When you need to do geospatial analysis, you send the data and the query off to ArcGIS server in the back end. It does the analysis, sends the result back. There's this app server that does all the non-geospatial operations in the system. So what's the problem with that infrastructure, with that architecture? Well, ArcGIS server is the problem. Um, it's expensive both to buy and maintain. Quality is low, so reliability of the system suffers. It is, uh, uh, has poor scalability and it's slow, especially for the all-important reprojection operations. And its many features often make it vast overkill for what we need. So I'm proposing an alternative geoprocessing architecture I'm calling Wedding Cake. It's intended to be fast, cheap, open, preferably free or near free, very scalable and reliable. It doesn't exist yet, but recently all the needed parts required to bring it into existence have become available. So the basic idea of Wedding Cake is to create execution tiers for geoprocessing and cascade <coughs> execution down the tiers uh, as we need to. If the first tier can't handle it, it will cascade down to the second tier and so on. And in this way, we can keep execution as close to the point of consumption as possible for speed and simplicity. In the real world, it might look like this. In your web browser, you can run turf to do very basic GIS analysis. If it can't handle things, it can cascade onto AWS Lambda, maybe running Geos, Moodle, the QGIS libraries. And then if that tier can't handle it, onto the server tier where you're running a traditional uh, geoprocessing server. AWS Lambda, which I mentioned, is a new technology from Amazon. It's a compute service that doesn't involve owning or setting up a server. Instead, it's execution on demand, and it's perfect for medium weight geoprocessing. You, you pay per execution, you get a fair number of resources for execution, and you can do a lot of concurrent executions. The other new enabling technology is Turf. This is Mapbox's new JavaScript GIS library. It can execute in the web browser as well as on the server. It's only about two months old and only implements fairly basic GIS operations at the moment, but it lets us do them right at the point of consumption in the browser. There's a problem still, though, and I think you've probably all seen it, and that is we have to coordinate all this, all these tiers. We have to manage the da data and where it goes and decide which tier is going to execute a particular geoprocessing job. So this is the piece that needs to be figured out and built that doesn't exist yet, and it's critical to do it right, because if you don't, you can end up with an even more complex arrangement than the traditional geoprocessing server. In the future, turf will only get more powerful, and Lambda will only gain in capacity and capability, so I expect at some point in the future, we may be able to do away entirely with the traditional uh, geoprocessing server, and hopefully gain speed, scalability, reliability, and cost. Thank you.